Shalom and welcome to this week's Bible study. Uh, this week um, we're going to uh, be studying about uh, how that um, we are uh, lights and Jesus said that we're supposed to let all light shine before men uh, so that they can glorify God, glorify God and this is the last day of Hanukkah and so we're going to look at how Hanukkah corresponds um, with this. And so we'll go ahead and pray, and then we will get uh, into the study. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for your word and all your blessings. And thank you for the miracle of Hanukkah and the celebration. And we pray that you bless us and help us to uh, study your word today in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, and so Matthew uh, 5, 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. See, if we don't let our light shine, then, you know, other people, you know, they won't um, know that we're Christians and um, they won't they won't get saved. And so we let all light shine to help other people find Christ. And um, Matthew 5.15 says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So we don't want to hide our light. We don't want to hide that we're Christians. And, you know, people should know that. And they should know that by our actions more than our words. Um, so, you know, we do good works. And, and we let our light shine that way. And then people will see that we're Christians. And they will glorify uh, God. And they'll end up getting saved. And, um... And also, you know, Jesus said himself that he is the light of the world. Uh, John eight twelve says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Um, I just have another verse that says that Jesus lighteth every man. Let me find that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. John 1, 9, 9, uh, John the Baptist is, this is actually recording, um, let's see, is it John the Baptist or John? No. Let's see, 1, 9 is, let's see. Okay, it's, well, it's the Apostle John is speaking, um, the Apostle John was speaking about John the Baptist, but then he switched over and was speaking about um, how the John the Baptist was uh, the forerunner of Christ to let everyone know that he was coming and that Christ was the true light. Um, so if you go to John 1, uh, there's 1, 1 through 9, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, that's Jesus. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Okay, and so Jesus is the light of the world, and then he lights all of us, meaning that we all get a opportunity to be saved, and um, and so, uh, and then those who get saved, you know, we become, he makes us lights, and then we shine for all, all lights so to attract people to Christ, and um, then they get saved. And in Hanukkah, that is actually uh, demonstrated um, because the story of Hanukkah was was that after the Maccabean War, they went in and cleansed the temple and rebuilt the menorah. And they only had one jar of oil, which would last one night. They went ahead and lit the menorah, which was never supposed to go out. It took eight days. Uh, it took four days for someone to go get oil and four days to come back. Um, so they only had enough oil for one night, but by a miracle... The lamp stayed lit for the whole eight nights until they got back with more oil. So that is uh, the um, story of Hanukkah. And then uh, since about 200 AD, I think, so it was actually after Christ when this 
tradition actually started. They started the tradition with a nine candle menorah instead of the seven that's in the temple. And this is called a Hanukkah. And every Hanukkah, you light one candle for each day. And the menorah is the middle candle. And it's also called the uh, servant candle. And um, the, the Shemesh candle, which means servant candle. And it actually, you light it first. And then um, you would light it uh, from left to right, and, uh, so, uh, you would light the Shemesh candle first, and then it lights the other candles, one per night, so the first night would light the first one, and the second night would light the first two, and so on, through the whole eight nights, and this is a picture of Jesus, because Jesus is, uh, in Isaiah called, uh, the servant, and, uh, Jesus has light, and then, he takes his light, and whenever we get saved, he puts his light, he puts his light on us, and he lights our candle, and then he lights everybody else, and, um, so it's depicted in Hanukkah, you can actually get the gospel very well, uh, and Jesus is represented very well in the candle lighting of Hanukkah, and, um, just like you don't hide the Hanukkah, you don't hide that you're a Christian, you you know, put it out on a table so people can see it, and a lot of times people put it in a window, um, all windows don't really have a sill on them, so we put it on a table, um, and, uh, so the, um, the menorah is a picture of Christ, and you even have a revelation where Jesus is standing in the midst of the seven candle, uh, seven golden candlesticks, and so there's a lot of symbolism there, and so it's important, uh, you know, for us to know that, you know, we need to let all light shine so that people know that we are Christians and they will come and ask us questions and we will be able to lead them to Christ and, you know, um, and we witness to people and we don't just wait for people to come and ask us. We go out and tell people about Jesus too. But if you're not living your life as a Christian, then, you know, you're going to um, miss out on opportunities to witness to people, and plus people, especially if you're a hypocrite, uh, people won't listen to you, <laughs> so you don't want to be a hypocrite. Um, you don't want to go live like the world, uh, and be a hypocrite, so, um, you know, we want to make sure that all light shines bright so people know that we're Christians, and they will get saved, and they will glorify God, and so, um, it was a short lesson, but, um, that's what I've got for today, and, uh, so that's, uh, kind of a break from my hour to hour long messages, um, so, um, we'll go ahead and close, and then, uh, I'll do the lesson over you, and, um, And so we'll go ahead and close in prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for your word and all your blessings. Help us to always remember the story of Hanukkah and how that it depicts you and all lives as Christians. And help us to be able to use this to lead others to you. And I pray that you help us to let our light shine bright so others can see that we are Christians and come to you. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Okay, uh, Yavarakaka, Adonai, Vayish, Mavaka, Yael, Adonai, Panav, Aleka, Viku, Neka, Yisa, Adonai, Panav, Aleka, Vayasim, Laka, Shalom. The Lord bless thee and keep thee, the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Thank you so much for watching this week and, uh, like and share and subscribe, uh, and so that other people will be able to find the video better. And uh, thank you all f uh, for your support and everyone who likes the videos and shows them. Um, that helps our channel. And um, if God lays it on your heart to support our ministry so we can have more resources to reach more people for Christ, uh, please use the Patreon or the PayPal links in the description. Thank you and have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. And God bless you and happy Hanukkah. Bye.